Hey guys, my name is Vivek Sharma and today we can cover this interesting problem that's called the binary tree level order traversal. So in this case we have been given some binary tree and we have to return a list of list of list of integer and that will contain all the elements level orders uh, yeah, level by level right so let's see it here we are having the binary tree something like that root is 3 5 7 this is 9 this is 2 this is something else like 15 or something right or 16 so the output should be 3 label 0 is 3 label 1 is so this is 1 1 3 and then 5 comma 7 and then another will be like uh, this label so it will be 2 16 9 right so let's see so this will be the list the whole list right and this list will contain all these elements in form of the list so that's what we have to do so when we talk about the label order traversal uh, the first thing we can think of uh, uh, we can either uh, solve it the, uh, by the depth first search or breadth first search but the convenient approach would be like uh, using the queue and the reason I am talking about the queue is because uh, we are just going label by label. So what we can do, we can start from root and then basically we can go left and right and we can put in the queue itself, right? And in the queue, basically we can just check if it is left and right is there, then we can just again put its children and then uh, while doing all this thing in the children, because we, we can just basically uh, build our list itself from the polling from the queue. So let's uh, try to create some placeholder and then we can just uh, go back to this whiteboard and we can just try to understand. But let's uh, create at least some kind of a dummy placeholder in our code to start with. So let's create some output list here, list of list of integer. This is let's say I have my array list here. Okay. And... Uh, in case my root is null, then go ahead and return this result, right? Otherwise, uh, the plan is to take this uh, queue and queue will have uh, a new link list. Queue can contain all this uh, roots label by label, right? So let's go ahead and then just uh, insert the root and then basically what we can do we can just uh, do this if q is not empty right and if q is not empty then what we can do uh, we can just uh, pull this guy right so we can get the node whatever in the queue so initially we will just store three so we just let pull from the queue that's three and uh, apart from that let's take the size as well so q dot size so let's say initially the size is one but um, while we are taking the for loop because uh, whatever the size is there uh, for example it's having the these two children right so we have to get the size of the queue and till that time only we want to iterate that queue that's it right if Q is having these two children, we want to iterate it two times. If it is having three children, we want to iterate it three times, right? So that's why we are taking the size, right? So let's do this. I equals to zero. I is less than size and I plus plus. So now let's uh, take another intermediate result integer as well, list as well. Why we are taking this list? So that we can build this intermediate intermediate list and then we can just uh, after uh, after finishing this processing in the for loop we can add this list to our main list that's a result list right so what we can do list dot add and uh, node dot val right and uh, if if our node dot left is not equal to null go ahead and then q dot of node dot left so we are just uh, putting the left and right children if it is there in the queue itself right that's what we are doing that's it 
so no dot right right so we just uh, uh, put it here right and uh, uh, so q dot size list we just did that and then basically we just uh, did this and let's try to pull this inside the for loop itself the reason we want to do that because uh, uh, because for example it's having the two children we want to pull all the two children right so that's why we want to do inside the for loop okay so now this thing is done and after for loop what we want to do res dot add we want to add our list whatever the list we have built right so we can uh, add this list in our main list list of list of a string and then basically uh, if it will come again then it will just uh, create another new list and then basically it will build in that list and then it will again just basically add this in our main list and our main list is our uh, answer right so return res so how this is working in uh, practically so th it's working in the same way right that's we just discussed and let's uh, try to undo little bit part so that we can just get a little bit of space or let me go ahead and it is some part actually so let's do this okay so what we are doing it here we are just going to the three and we are uh, let's say we are having this queue we are pushing in the queue that's three right and we entered in our loop and three is there right so we will be just pulling the three and our list we will be just adding three okay now three it's having the children five and seven right so what we will be doing we will be just uh, inserting in our queue 5 and 7 right and uh, uh, we already uh, popped up this 3 right and then we again uh, will be going so let's go back to the code so we already inserted this 4 and 7 right and i is equal to uh, this loop has been finished right so in the main list so let's say this is res on the left hand side so we just added 3 here comma now uh, we again went back and then we created another new list and the size this time is 2 right so size is 2 because it's having these two elements 5 and 7 so what we will do we will just add this 5 and 5 is having the left child so we will push 2 and then uh, basically 7 it's having the left child itself so we will just push 16 right and it's having the uh, so let's go here it's having the left child and right child so yeah it, it will just first process the five right so five it's having only the left child so it will just uh, push two here not 16 at this point and uh, we already have five now and then it will just uh, <clears throat> go back to the second iteration because now it's having the two right so it will pull uh, it already pulled back five and now it will just do seven so it will add in the 7 itself and 7 for left and right it will insert it now 16 and 9 right and now it's having the 3 elements so it will just do the same thing again and again for 2 16 and 9 as well so in the next iteration it's having the 3 size so it will just add 2 16 and 9 and uh, after each iteration it's just adding in this main list as well 5 7 and then after this 2 16 9 so that's what uh, we are doing in our code right let's try to quickly see if it is getting compiled or not and if there is any error we can correct that okay so it's uh, seeing and let's see if there is any error okay so it's working uh, the approach that we discussed that's working correctly so to analyze this time complexity and space complexity let's see it here so time complexity will be order of n and by its order of n because we are iterating every element here in the queue right so this is order of n and space complexity will be also the uh, order of n roughly and the reason of order of n because we are taking the queue and in the queue basically we are just taking the maximum element so for example in the leaf node it's having three elements so queue size will be go maximum three 
so what we can say like uh, it will be the n where n is the maximum number of nodes right at leaf level right so wherever because uh, generally in the leaf level there will be the maximum nodes right so we can define this n is like that or we can just differentiate like m and where m is the maximum number of nodes at leaf level so that will be the space complexity okay so this was pretty straightforward we just need to take level by level and we just need to uh, take intermediate array we just need to fill that array and then we just need to uh, uh, basically add our main list basically uh, this intermediate array we need to just um, uh, add in, in our main list as well and every time we just need to recreate the new array for the intermediate results so yeah that's it and uh, uh, hope you enjoyed this video thanks a lot bye